and welcome back to another video on this channel so it's been a while since i did some filming um but i wanted to do an unboxing video today for freya's cauldron um i do hope to do some more filming of other videos at some point but i'm not sure when that's gonna be um but i'm hoping to at least do a freya's cauldron unboxing um possibly every month um hopefully but um, I've got the December box with me that has just arrived today um, and I've not actually opened it yet. Um, so I just thought I would do that today. So it just comes in a bag like this um, and in a box. So I've actually been getting Fray's Cauldron for um, a, a year now actually. This I got the Yule box um, to start with so we're actually a year into this. Um, so I actually really do enjoy it. It's probably been the longest subscription box that I've had, I think, um, that I've really enjoyed. So I used to get Witch Casket back like in the beginnings of things. Um, I do still have some videos up on this channel from that one. And then I did get the White Witch box, um, which I did like, um, but then um, there were some problems with actually receiving the box um, last November. So that is actually why I switched to a different subscription box because my box was really delayed. I couldn't get hold of the seller. Um, I don't know if anything's sorted out with that now, so it could have changed, it might not have, um, but I couldn't get hold of the seller. To this day, I have not not seen any email contact come through from her um so i'm not sure what's going on with that I hope, hopefully she's okay but um obviously i didn't want to be paying for a box that i may or may not receive um so i decided to change so i changed to freya's cauldron um so it has changed a little bit um from when i started so originally it was just in a plain box and now they've actually printed a logo on it so i think that's quite nice um but um, yeah, I liked it before, but it's quite nice. It's got the logo on it. Um, and without messing any more about, I'm gonna get into it. <laughs> so it comes quite nicely packed. I have no idea how they actually pack these boxes because whenever I take things out, I can never get them back in. Um, but we have a little Your Blessings card here. I'm gonna pull them forward so you can actually see because um, the camera is actually quite far away. And it just says there, so that's quite cute. Um, and then there is a welcome to the magical world of Freya's Cauldron. So this is just talking about their Facebook group and basically the different ways that you can connect with groups on here, which I have actually joined the group now, um, which is good because you can actually get anything you've missed in boxes like if there's a series of anything you can actually join that and actually be able to get that so it's exclusive to subscribers but they actually have that now which is good so we have like a breakdown of um everything that's in the box um which is that's, that's one sheet which is just here um and then they have information sheets on things that are in the box so they have them as a5 which i think is quite nice i've got mine in a um, little a5 folder um where i'm putting all my information in oh my gosh i've just seen the goddess for this month and i'm so happy oh. um so the themes with this box is um i think when did it start I think it started around um like or, like september time um i'm not sure if it was before then um they started doing goddesses so there's been a few now it might have been before september actually um there's been a few now um on goddesses so there was freya um i know there was lilith um persephone was the last one i think we had um and then there was a couple of others um i believe um and one that I really wanted was Keridrum, which I've just seen is in this box, so I'm super excited for that. Um, that was what that little freak out thing was, but we have lots of information sheets, um, which is really nice. So this is definitely a good box for someone who is more of a practicing witch. Um, if you don't practice witchcraft, I don't think this box is really going to be that good for you, which is what I like about it, because it's not kind of just got gimmicky random things in, which I feel like is sometimes in other boxes that kind of puts me off other ones because i do like kind of gimmicky stuff to an extent but i don't like pointless gimmicky stuff like i want it to have a reason and some of it just doesn't so we usually get a group spell um so this is one of the ones that we've got here which is a peace on earth group spell um which i think they did a peace on earth one last year because it says spell two um 
so this is all set to um, a certain time to do so everyone who gets the the um, box can actually do a timed spell where it's um, all at the same time so it's on the 19th of December at 8 o'clock um, so I'm not going to share this because this is actually like what we're paying for and also it's private and it does actually say that it's copyrighted and that we can't actually show it um, but I'll show you what you get in here so we have a herb blend um, that's it doesn't actually say what it's to do with obviously it's some form of peace herb blend um i'm assuming and then we've got three white candles so that's quite interesting as well so definitely interested in that one and hopefully i can actually do it at the time that was first because a lot of the time i do end up missing the time slot because i'm just very disorganized because it's usually later on in the month i kind of put it somewhere safe to think oh i'll put that somewhere safe so i don't forget about it and then i end up forgetting about it so this is another one which is a yule blessing charm this one i always end up ripping the stickers won't truly rip that one Ooh, interesting so We've got some ribbons, ribbons like this, and then a spoon. I'm not really sure what we're doing with this. Okay, so we tie the ribbon around the spoon and then hang it in the kitchen or the heart of the home, basically. Um, and it's just to bring um, love, peace and joy. That's interesting. I think it's kind of cute. And that's something that I think you'd be able to do um, for different things as well. Like you could easily kind of get some different coloured ribbons and things to hang charms otherwise. But I think that's quite quite cute. And interesting. That wasn't what I was expecting. Whoops. I'm going to leave those. Um, oh, freaking hell. But yeah. Um cute and then this is actually something we have um in the boxes quite often so um we've got quite a few of these um i think i'm not sure if this is one of the last ones i can't remember when they started there might be a couple more but um they are a little kind of charm that is um tied to the sabbats so this is the yule one which is actually quite cute it's a little bit wider than the other ones were the previous ones were um a little bit longer and thinner um, I mean, you could wear it as a necklace. I don't typically wear it as a necklace. I usually tie a knot in here so it's a bit shorter and then I hang it um, above my altar. Um, but there's nothing stopping you from wearing it as a necklace. Um, so that's quite cute. And then we have a crystal here. We usually do get a crystal um, in the box. I don't know if you can see that. The lighting isn't the best. I mean, I'm, on my, I'm, I'm filming on my phone and the lighting is not very good because we're in the middle of winter and it is half past two. So the light's already fading. This is a blue tiger's eye. Yeah, you can tell. Yeah, I can see that now. You can see the fleck in that side. Um, but that's a blue tiger's eye. I don't think I actually have a blue tiger's eye. I've got a red tiger's eye and then a, a normal tiger's eye, but I don't think I actually have a blue one. So that's cute. Um, we've got another collectible here as well, which I have a few of these. I think we've got water, fire, and spirit. Um, I think we've got earth still to get, and then we have air in this one, um, which is quite cute. Um, so it's pewter elemental altar bowl, um, which is an exclusive, uh, an exclusive as well. So quite a few things in the boxes are exclusives. She does have a website, so you can get some things on there. Um, but um, certain items in the boxes are literally just exclusive, so you can only get them if you're a subscriber, um, either in the subscription boxes or getting them if you've joined later and you want to build your collection. I did that with um, some of the uh, plaques from last year. Um, they have the Sabbath plaques. Um, but um, this is also, you can't really see because of the way I've set my camera up, but this is a sheet 
uh, about air, um, the element of air. So we have also the other ones for the other ones. So we've got earth. No, we don't have earth. Do we have earth? I can't remember. I know we've got water and fire and we've got spirit. I'm not sure if we've got earth. I can't actually remember. Maybe we don't. I'm not sure. Sorry. Um, <laughs> another one that we have in here is the plaque. So these, again, are another exclusive to the box um, and collectibles. So um, with these, I actually tend to colour them in with like the um, like Stabilo, like fine tip um, pens. Um, but you've got to be really, really careful and steady handed, which I am not. Um, so I don't know if I'll do this one because there's quite a lot of intricate bits in here. So I might end up making a mess of it. But I quite like them plain as well, but you obviously can colour them in and make them a little bit more unique to yourself as well. But I just think they're really nice. Um, and again, they're another collectible item. Another thing that we tend to get in the box as well is candles. So we usually get a pack of candles. So she gets these made um, herself for, for her business as well, um, which I think is pretty cool um, and they're quite a nice size they fit really well in the holders and um, the colors are really good like they're all the way through um, they're not like a coating I don't think I've ever got a coated candle from from them like they're all like the color all the way through um, but they have different colors tied to um, kind of the time of the year um, so we'll tend to get like brighter more pastel colors in like the spring and the summertime and then deeper colors more in this time of year um so it's always great to add to your collection um i don't feel like you can ever have too many um candles for you another oil that we another item we've got is an oil so this is the power of air yeah the power of air candle dressing oil um so these are usually in the box as well. We usually get a oil. Um, if it's tied to an element like this one is, then it tends to be the element one. Um, so we've got like the element of water, fire um, and spirit. Um, I think spirit was the last box. Um, and then obviously we've got air. And then I think we still have, we've still got earth to come. So that might be the next one. Um, but I can't, I can't actually remember. I'll need to go through my stuff. Um, but this is quite cool. I don't know if I can figure out what it smells like. It smells quite mentally, definitely not mentally, um, it's kind of like, is it like, is it wintergreen that one? I can't remember what oil that is, um, it's quite strong, quite balm, balsamy, like a balm, like a, like a Vicks balm sort of thing but a little bit like herbly as well like a bit, bit more of a spice to it I don't know I don't, I'm really rubbish at describing scents it does smell really nice though I do like that a lot um another thing we have um which they've changed this several times since I've been getting the box so um we have some herbs so originally they used to do them in like a thicker kind of number five plastic tub um, which was quite all right um, and then they tried to change the plastic tub to a number two plastic I think it was or a number one basically one that was more recyclable but it was a little bit more flimsy the lid always popped off so they changed quickly from that one and then put them into envelopes um, which were fine um, I didn't have a problem with them being in envelopes but if people again are more of a beginner witch or they don't have a lot of space they might not actually have any jars to actually put bag like the envelopes of herbs in so you've got after you've opened them a few times like wasn't very practical so they've moved on to this style which I actually quite like because you've already got a jar ready for them and obviously you can refill them as you go through them and they just I think they're really cute and they all stack together and sit really nicely together um so I'm really happy with this design but we actually have heather flowers in here which um I already have some heather flowers but I do actually um, use them quite a lot um so that's pretty pretty good so yeah they're quite cute and then we have some incense cones so we have element of air incense cones in here Let's see if we can see what they smell like I 
can't really distinguish anything specific about them. They smell all right. Um, just like a typical incense scent. They're okay. They're not like amazing, but they they smell quite nice. Um, but I do use incense clones, so I will probably use these. And then we have, I think this is the final item in the box. I think. Yeah, one of the final items and then we have the sheets about everything as well um so the plaque that we have is the goddess plaque so like i say it's the goddesses that we have as our main collector's item in the box and this month is keridwin which makes me really really happy because i have been wanting this one and i actually really really like the design of this one as well it's just this is going on my altar straight away because it's just, it's everything that I've wanted and I'm really, really happy. Really, really happy that we have this one. So yeah, we've got Freya, we've got Keridwin. I'm happy, I'm happy now. Um, so yeah, we also have a goddess card as well that um, talks about um, obviously Keridwin in this case um, and her like associations and crystal associations with plant herb color animal off, um, associations and then offerings as well that you can give to her as well which is obviously really handy we tend to get another sheet as well yeah we have another sheet as well that talks a little bit more in depth about keridwin and the myth surrounding her um i think most of this is probably stuff that i've already read before but it's nice to have um in your book of shadows or in a little booklet um i tend to put these all in a specific folder uh, so all of my information from freya's cauldron goes into one book it's kind of separate from a book of shadows but it is kind of becoming a book of shadows in its own right um which that is going to go in as well but i do think it's a really nice way of introducing certain goddesses from different pantheons and um especially for someone who is starting out or just exploring different goddesses um it's a way of finding out ones that you maybe wouldn't have otherwise looked at or considered um and you know you can you know you can see what whether you you have a pull or a draw to that one or you know there's a connection there um which i think is really cool um we have a information sheet on heather as well so we have more, usually have one as well on the herb that we get so we usually get a herb in the box as well um that's quite a common thing and like I say a crystal so we also have an info sheet on the crystal and then we also have an info sheet on the element of air as well which is there and then another sheet that we have because obviously this box is tied to a sabbat as well is the yule sheet as well so this discusses yule and winter solstice which is really good as well so like i say um i've been getting this box for a year now um a year exactly because this was the last box the first box that i had was the yule one of 2020 um and i actually really like it so i definitely would recommend it um i'm always really happy with everything in the box i've never really come across anything that i I'm disappointed in um or i found that i really hate like everything is really good um all the collectibles are really good as well and just yeah i've never been unhappy with anything in the box um so i would definitely recommend having a look at them and checking them out um i can't actually remember how much they are i should have actually checked that i think they're about 25 pounds um i'm pretty sure that's how much i pay um for a uk box so it's a U it's based in the uk um i think it's i think it's near castleford i'm not entirely sure um what can i say on the back actually yeah castleford um so um yeah um it's a uk box um um as well so it's 25 in the uk i think they do do international but i don't know how international it is um i will um i double check um i'll leave the info for the link to um her website and everything as well in the info box so you can have a look have a read um 
and um, if you want to get anything individually from the shop as well she has got a shop like I say not everything that you'll get in the box is going to be on there because obviously a lot of it is box exclusives um, but she does do some really good stuff so I definitely recommend checking out the website and potentially checking out the box if you're interested in a new subscription box all right um i hope um i'm going to be able to do some more filming um in the next um next few months um and come back to this channel because i have missed doing this um so hopefully this video has not been too awkward and weird um like i say i've been a bit out of practice of it obviously um but i do intend to come back and do more unboxing videos and talking about rose cauldron a little bit more um but i do also want to um start putting up some more content as well Otherwise, um, I just need to have a little bit more of a look at um, what sort of content I can do and what time I can like kind of dedicate to this. I'm really sorry if I've not been looking in the camera. Um, this video, I don't even know if I'm looking in the camera this at this point. Um, but yeah, you can tell that I'm out of practice of this. But I hope everyone's doing all right. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video um, and I'll hopefully see you in a video in the not too distant future. So bye for now.